5 a.m. My brother made it in last night. We just got up to um, take a time lapse of the sunrise with the Santa Monica Pier right in front. This is the car getting our tripods. Let's do this. So Sony just released a new update for the Sony a7 III that allows you to shoot time lapses. Basically it's interval shooting. So you can shoot basically a specific number of pictures every couple seconds. So you can choose the time between the pictures. You can choose how many pictures you want. And then it shows you the total time that it takes for the entire sequence to finish. I don't really know anything about time lapses, but I'm gonna give it a try. Right now we're set to shoot 180 shots at 15 second intervals, which means we're gonna have a total of an hour and a half time lapse, which is, should be perfect because we have half an hour until sunrise, which is actually a little bit long. But you know, you can end it at any time, but hopefully we'll get the sick pink clouds covering the sky with the Santa Monica Pier lights in the background. Long exposure, beautiful. This is gonna be an amazing night today time lapse. Also, this beach is insanely just empty. There's been like one guy and he's just running. It's like a desert of sand. Like every desert. I hope we're allowed to be on this beach. The pier said it was 24 hours. I'm not exactly sure about the beach. Okay, we're starting. This is the framing. Got the pier behind us. The water, the beach, the sky. Let's start this time lapse now. Okay, um, I don't know if that time lapse was even good, but I'm hoping to get a better one when we're actually on the island. It's like six in the morning now, but we have to catch the ferry over to the island. Morning. We made it on the boat. We got probably like an hour, 45 minute drive to uh, sail out to the island. Let's hope I don't throw up. All right, we made it to the island, the city of Avalon on Catalina Island. We're in a Vons right now. It doesn't even seem like an island. The shelves are fully stocked, fresh produce. It's kind of weird. It doesn't really seem like you're on an island. Since it's such a small island, so many people drive golf carts here because probably because they're lighter and easier to ship over to the island. But we're gonna try and go rent one so we can just rip around and do whatever the heck we want. <laughs> I'm sitting on the back. Got a golf cart. A There's a submarine. Stupidest rule, you can only have it for two hours. I'm gonna want this for the entire weekend. Why can you only have it for two hours? It's such a waste. It's not a waste, they're still pretty sick. I think we're just going around the island. I don't really know. This island was actually bought by a, uh, you know the Wrigley gum? Wrigley, Wrigley, like juicy fruit guy, Wrigley. The Wrigley guy bought this island, so there's a garden, Wrigley garden, that was Wrigleyed up, and it was called, like, Mr. Wrigley, the Wrigley garden.
We're at the big, wide, famous theater. It looks amazing. We just had a fantastic lunch at the Catalina Cantina. I'm exhausted. We're hiking up a hill now. There's a bell tower that's giving off these sweet bell noises. So we're just hiking up there, up the hills. We return the golf cart because it's f***ing expensive. So I didn't even say a bad word there. I just bleeped it out. So I don't really know exactly where we're going, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully get some nice audio of these bells and some nice footage. So it actually is a chime tower, not a bell tower. It just has two rows of different chimes. It's almost two o'clock, so the chimes are gonna go off again. The views from here are spectacular. The hills remind me a lot of like the Hollywood Hills kind of. Like if there was a Hollywood sign up in these hills, I wouldn't even second guess it. That was a pretty sick hike. It's a pretty nice walk. We have all day tomorrow to be here, so we're gonna go back to hotel and just relax. Honestly, hotel review, not too big of a room, but it's pretty nice. Pretty big TV, dank mirror here. Um, yeah. So we're spending all day tomorrow, which is Saturday, and then we're leaving on Sunday morning. So we're gonna have a long time here to explore. Um, I either want to do a day to night time lapse or a night to day time lapse up on the hill with the entire harbor and that nice cool round building. Hopefully it'll be really, really nice. Okay, so we've just been watching National Treasure and National Treasure 2 in our hotel room. We just got some pizza for dinner. We're trying to go out and take a time lapse V2. We kind of um, waited a little too long because the mountains are already starting to like glow up with that sun and fog behind it. So look at these mountains. Probably can't even see it but holy smokes check that out right there anyway it's gorgeous out here I'm trying to get another time lapse if you don't really make it that good tonight well I'll, we'll have another opportunity to make one tomorrow and hopefully that one will be a whole lot better but I'm honestly really excited to see how this one turns out so we're trying to get the mountains behind us and the weird casino round building in the time lapse shot we're going all the way out to the end of the pier because there's really no spot to get an actual good shot unless you run a golf cart go all the way up the mountain which we did earlier but there was no sunset and it's freaking expensive <laughs> time lapses me and my brother both shot a couple each we also shot a bunch of long exposure photos and there's a band it's pretty late and dark out here but there are tons of people out and about there's a really late ferry that came in and brought tons of new people onto the island but you know it's absolutely gorgeous wonderful beautiful time out here anyway hope you enjoyed those it's probably it for today I'm kind of exhausted we have all day tomorrow to spend on the island but yeah Thank you. Welcome to Catalina, day two on the island. Samsung has all their own like weird apps and add-ons in it. We basically just hung out at the hotel all morning. But now we're going to the Wrigley Memorial, which is where Mr. Wrigley was buried. And there's a beautiful garden and memorial, and it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. I've embraced the island lifestyle. I got this hat, and 
Oh my gosh. We're gonna go to the Wrigley Memorial. We're actually going now. We're actually going. We're waiting at the bus stop. We're on the bus. We're so close. We just hyperlapsed all the way, way out there to up here. Probably can't even see it. But it's an amazing building memorial. Basically, Mr. Wrigley bought a bunch of land on this island. Now, I guess he just completely loved it because he built a mansion on top of one of the hills overlooking the entire town. And he was also buried on this island right up here in the memorial. So this is basically his grave and a memorial to him and his life. Mr. Wrigley's grave. It's just a memorial. But either way, hats off for Mr. Wrigley. Okay, so we've just been partying around and just hanging out, but it's finally time to get the sunset. It is 6:10, and the sunset is at 7:09. Basically, though, we have an hour until the sun sets, so we're gonna go get a, finally, a day to night time lapse. With the clouds moving over the hills, the sun is just burning off the clouds, so it's not a complete layer of mist, a blanket. It's more like a few splotches of clouds here and there, so we can see the movement, see the sun going down, the sunset, all the boats on the water. It's hopefully some boats coming in and out of the harbor. I cannot wait, it's going to be amazing. Should I bring my hammock? Sure. I'm gonna bring my hammock and maybe we'll even set up a hammock but I don't even know if there's trees. We're going to climb up and go towards the Wrigley Mountain, which is, the Wrigley Mountain? The Wrigley Mansion, which is up on the hill and we're gonna try and um, get a beautiful view with the casino, which is that weird round building, a beautiful round building, and then the whole harbor with all the city, town, cities, houses, Let's just go. Oh my gosh, the sun's already setting. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's go. We're climbing up the stairs. Just got a few for this time lapse. Oh yeah, these views are nice. We went the completely wrong way. So now we're on some old town road somewhere. But I mean, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, the Wiggles Mansion, the Wrigley Mansion is up above us somewhere. Sometimes we know we're really high up because the Wiggly Mansion is really high up on the, uh, on the island. That's the view we want to get. So yeah, hopefully they have some gum for sale, like juicy fruit. I'm dying for some juicy fruit right now. Hopefully it's the perfect location for a time lapse. Okay, see what I was talking about? We made it up. Check out the view! We were already here yesterday, but it was a bad time. We didn't have all the camera gear, but we're not running a freaking another golf cart because they're too freaking expensive. Waste of money. They're kind of fun though. Anyway, we're walking up to this lookout point. It's pretty close. And it's gonna be amazing. Also, check out the Wrigley Mansion. That's it. Pretty impressive. And they literally picked the perfect spot for a view. So that's why we're coming up to get the exact view that they chose to build their house. <laughs> There's some god rays coming from the sun. We have to make this in our time lapse. Oh my gosh. Here's a lookout point. Wow. 
Look at those god rays. We gotta get this. Hey, so we got our cameras time lapsing over there. We set up the hammock. This is the best spot I've ever set up my hammock in the history of hammocking. It's literally perfect. Finish time lapsing, and it's the night time. Day to night time lapse. Beautiful opportunity. Uh huh. That's a good idea. It's a beautiful, beautiful night. I'm so glad because I actually stopped the time. Oh my gosh! What the? Heck? I didn't know they had UFOs here. My camera actually stopped during the time lapse, but it was just so beautiful. We restarted it because I wanted to get the lights at night. I really hope you enjoyed that time lapse. We're leaving tomorrow morning, so we're coming to the end of this beautiful, wonderful, amazing trip. Also, we set up the hammock and it was amazing. Literally, like I said, the best spot to hammock in the world. Probably my favorite spot I've ever hammocked. Just had that insane view right in front of you with the sunset, oh my gosh. Unbeatable. So right now we're gonna go drop off our stuff at the hotel and then go get some dinner. Power nap. Power nap complete. Let's go get some dinner. I'm starving. We got some burritos, got some more food. We're gonna go back and like watch a movie or something, but yeah, it's been an amazing time. Thank you, Catalina. You may now begin lining up on the right hand side of gate number four.